I've seen remains. I just found this while um, excavating. It's, it said um, I should talk to Venezuela about this. So let's go see what she's got to say about this. Sorry, Venezuela. <laughs> All right, if you want to hear this, tell me figure out a turn about somewhere right here. Okay, um, what if I use this on her? Will it work? Yes, okay. Found some icy and the mass graves. What are you telling me for? I wasn't here when this place fell. Wow. Okay, well then. Who wants to talk about this? I've researched icy burial sites at some point. In fact, there was an icy graveyard and the cults just stopped up here. Oh, okay. They used to be buried with these flat circular ceremonial artifacts. They look like frying pans. Oh, here we go. I got to uncover in uh, a frying pan, which I don't, I didn't do any, I didn't cover that. I don't, I, don't, I don't have that. And then I have to use a frying pan to bury this and I have no idea what happens afterwards. All right, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but... Um, apparently finding like journal pages while you're doing excavations will unlock um, mysteries uh, or uncover mysteries and I think finding all of the journal pages in a set will uh, complete the mystery I think I've seen that happen before but um, I'm not 100% sure right now but I think I think that's how you complete the mystery okay so you saw that 18 and now it's two I just realized I didn't realize this the first time because I wasn't paying close attention to the XP drops these salt water like any dirt or soil you collect does gives like barely any xp but the materials you get gives like much more than the dirt oh so, yeah the more materials you get or the more precise your hits are with your matak or the better matak you have the faster your xp will be i'm i'm assuming because the more precise you are you will most likely get materials instead of like soil so yeah that makes sense all right I got my lantern and my frying pan. It should be level 45 if I restore both. Actually, I can't even restore both. Wait, what am I saying? I already have a fully restored frying pan and lantern. <laughs> Anyways, I need another frying pan for this icy remains thing, which I'm supposed to bury or something. But before I go and do that, I'm going to go give in one of the frying pans and the hollowed lantern to the collector just so i can um complete the collection start completing the collection log for this sarah dominus one and contribute all right so those are two items got me that much and let me go check up on my research team which is basically one man all right view report your team finished this one information gathered discovered lots of material oh that's kind of cool. It's like kingdom. That's pretty cool. All right. So why would I abandon all? What purpose is that? I guess I don't have storage space if that that's why I would abandon. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to take all of it. Um, I have more researchers now. So let me put everybody on my team. Wait, what? Oh, whoops. You cannot assign research to the team and the team is full. What? You can only have two people on the team. All right, well, this guy's got 0%, 0%, so he's got 1%, 0%, so obviously this is a better deal. So let's see, another Dick Caradet Inferno or Everlite. I'm going to go with Everlite because it's got more XP than the others. Plus, this is the one I'm currently at, so I should get more more relevant material. Or maybe not, actually, because um, the thing is, level 45 gives... Oh my god, this is a bug. Like I, I I hold it and you see how like that thing comes up. If I if I leave it there, it doesn't disappear. I don't understand. I have to like close it and then quickly click it and then move my mouse over. It's pretty annoying. The so level 45 gives me this new debris which I can excavate, but this is located back in the inferno source dungeon. So this um skill just takes you from dungeon to dungeon, like back and forth. Not new ones all the time, sometimes you go back to the old ones. So because of that, I'm going to send my team in the, to gather materials from here because I know I'm going to have to um, restore artifacts using these materials. Okay, so Venescula just said that there's some buried remain. Oh, right there. This is the burial site. Okay, so how do I get down there? All right, Traverse Cliff. Okay, so I got my icy remains in my quote-unquote frying pan. So I guess I do it here. Oh, there we go. That felt like a good deed done. I should inform Venezuela. Alright, let's see what she let's see what she's gotta say. Um What? Nothing. Mystery, fallen angels. Okay, yeah, there we go. I reburied some icy remains. 
If you want a medal or something. <laughs> Damn. Savage. Oh, here we go. We solved the mystery. Oh, okay, so that's what that does. It solves a mystery. I'll inform Efarade of your prize seats. Happy now? Yes. Very happy because I'm level 45 now. Time to go back to the Infernal Source Dungeon. Oh, there's more bookshelves here. Let's see what they got. Uh, yield something of interest. Cultist Chores Rhoda. Okay. More XP. Uh, these, this is great. At these low levels, this XP is pretty good. It's a pretty decent amount of XP. 500. Let's see about this one. Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing there. I think that's it. There's only one bookshelf that gives XP here. Alright, well, better than nothing. Alright, so manacles complete and branding iron complete. Level 46. Hand them in. Hopefully we get enough um, Evernotes. I mean, Chronotes. What am I saying? So this stuff is Zamorakian level 2. Yeah. Okay, there we go. 800. Oh, that should be enough to upgrade my Matox precision here. So here's the storage thing. I didn't I didn't scroll down. It unlocks this stuff, which uh, obviously I'm guessing your need for the newer dig site areas. This is getting pretty full. There's only like one line plus two extra left. So yeah, good thing it doesn't cost that much to upgrade that. Okay, Mr. Esso Real. Assistant, upgrade Matox precision. Perfect. Alright, I went ahead and got another monocles and branding iron uh, damage artifacts so I can give it to the different collector. Um, the whole time I've been giving it to this collector, Velucia, which is right there, which is at the uh, archaeology guild. And um, I figured since the next milestone is 47, which gives me, which takes me back to Karadet mines or excavation site. I might as well find these artifacts again and give them to a different collector. Uh, this one's Asara at the Black Knight's base. I have no idea where that is. I gotta go figure that out. Alright, 500 XP left. We're about to hit level 47 and boom. Now we have to go back to Karadet because the Pricerio remains are in Karadet excavation. Okay, so apparently this disorder painting... Um, I completed the zero, uh, Zamorakian 1, which is why there's a check mark here, even though it says 0 out of 9, which is weird. Um, I did fully complete this one. Um, so, the Zamorakian 1 is, I think it's pretty worth it, because the reward is a relic component. And this one, the uh, Barak Museum Collector, I don't know if this is really worth it, it's more of a cosmetic, it seems, because this is a replica Zamorakian art piece for your office, which is, sounds to me like a cosmetic, so... This one artifact, three people want this. I have already given it to this one, and I don't think it's worth giving it to this one, so I'm gonna save it for this one. Alright, so this is a Karadet, um, the next location, the 47, level 47 remains are downstairs, which I have to get through this door somehow. I have no idea what to do. I found the missing dial. Go on and reattach a dial. I want to see what it does. Oh, okay. Well then. Oh, he gave me the dial. I didn't even notice. That seems to have fixed it. Now some sort of code, I guess. Oh, great. A code. Maybe I have to read this and go to custodian. Where is that? Oh, here. Zerosian. I have. I'm currently looking into this mystery. I have four of the pages. I think I need one more. I see, so I have to keep looking for these journal pages to solve this mystery and then I might be able to get access to this prison door. Uh, okay, I think it's fine because if I keep looking for the notes because uh, I have to give artifacts to other collectors anyways, so I might as well. The shield pylons are now active while they remain so you have a buff to excavation precision and XP across the site plus a chance of finding additional items. Oh, sweet. Okay, so that's what I have to do. Fully charge these things. Awesome. Oh, it's right here, too. Hold on. Me. There we go. Protection of Zaros. An additional 10% archaeology XP. 5% increase to your Matox precision, artifact discovery, and access to the Shadow Realm. Wait. Access to the Shadow Realm? What? Where is that? Where, I want to go to the Shadow Realm. Wait a minute. Interact Ghost Legionary. That's why I wasn't here before. All right. Oh, what the? The ghost soldier mysteriously has some arts You feel as if thanks for something, but you don't know what. Maybe this guy was the guy that I buried, but that makes no sense because that was an Everlight. 
All right, you know what? You know what? We don't question. We don't question no gifts. All right, so I went ahead and got all nine items for the Zerosian collection again, um, just so I can give it to the emissary of Zaros, which on the map is in Farrakh, right here. So I'm gonna give it to him. Zerosian one contribute. Hey, four thousand two hundred chronos and seal of Prefectus Praetorio. So what this is supposed to do is, well, first I have to give it to the monolith. So let's go there real quick. All right, at the monolith, um, maybe I have to use it on it. There we go. Ooh, it's a pretty cool animation. There we go. 10% increase to all protection gains in the heart farming guilds and manifolds. So the reason I went for this was because I am trying to get my farming guild reputation maxed out. I already have the mass cap ones that I want and I don't think I'm really well actually I do still have one unfinished one at the heart so yeah it's pretty good and also in doing that whole collection all over again I got to 48 archaeology which now I have access I have to go back to Everlight and I have access to the level 48 stuff so yeah it's pretty good all right I just made a ceremonial unicorn um, ornament which I do remember Eduardo wanted this so I think I can recruit him as a research assistant now yes fantastic reporting for duty boss hell yeah oh stand by hello 50 arch archaeology and boom 50 archaeology all right well whoops all right let's go get that uh rune matak all right hold on apparently there are only four pages for um prison break these are all the four pages so I'm supposed to, the clues to this puzzle are in these four pages apparently. So let's see what's up. The code order relates to the ascending order of sentence. Look at the inmate references. The code order relates to the ascending order of sentence. Inmate references, huh? Okay, so this is the log. Prison log. Inmate ID. SH. IC. BL. S H S M S H. So ascending order, meaning from smallest to largest. Oh my god! So I literally remaining sentence eternity. Great. That means uh, I C, which must be ice, because there's that's the four the four things of next. So it's gonna be there's a blood button, blood, ice, shadow, smoke. So ice is last because the uh, so eternity is forever. Um, BL is blood, is six months. Shadow, which is SH, is four months. So it's gonna be shadow, then blood, then ice. But then smoke is five years, which is more than six months. So it's gonna be shadow, blood, smoke, ice. This one's also shadow, but this one's a waiting sentence. So that's what that one doesn't count. So shadow, blood, smoke, ice. Okay, so let's try that. Shadow. Okay, there's the button. Blood. Smoke. And ice. Did that work? Oh, it worked. Oh, that's so great. Okay, perfect. Finally, it worked. Solve this mystery. I get a bunch of XP. No, my dude. Shadow. Blood. Smoke ice. Just did it. All right, let's go. Let's get this level forty-seven stuff. All right, I got this ancient timepiece, which I think goes here. So let me try to use it. Oh, it works! Oh, <gasps> it opens a door, and I solved the mystery. Two thousand eight hundred XP. That's pretty good. All right, so let's see where this leads. All right, what is this? What is this? What the? Strange device. Can I walk through here? Maximum security barrier. Nope. Um, okay. What is this? What is the purpose of this? Nothing. It's a dead end. <laughs> what is this? Study. Oh, a st uh, for research. Wait. No, it's not because this is a dead end. Ooh. So there's no point of this entire section except 
for being able to pass this barrier, which I can't do. Great! Oh, I just luck of the dwarves. A tetra compass piece left. I think there's four pieces of this, but yeah, damn. I think I got pretty lucky with that. I seen buckler. Prodromoi buckler. Oh, I think this is for. I actually have no idea. Alright, I just gave in the harp, trumpet, and violin, and I gave me like about 1.5k or something like that. And now it's time to upgrade my storage box. Now all of my assistant upgrades are complete. Oh man, yeah, getting to a soul seat is going to take like 10,000 years. Alright, I got a whole extra set of these. I've already given the one to the Lucia. Now I've come to Sriracha. The Racha sauce, the Racha man over here, giving him a whole set for a lock of hair. Okay, so I recently found out that to cross this barrier, because once you hit 58, you need to get to these part, these um excavation stuff. So to cross this barrier, you need to restore a pendant, which you can get from excavating these stuff. You don't have to wear the pendant, you just have to have it in your inventory, and I'll let you through. Oh, luck of the dwarves, touch a crepus piece right. Last time I got left. It's a finally about time we hit 60 archaeology. Finally have access to the Orichalcum Matak, Dragon Matak. Probably gonna use Orichalcum because I have no idea what to augment with. Oh snap, I just got another Tetra Compass piece from the Luck of the Dwarves. It's a dial this time. Oh, here it is. Tetra Compass unpowered. I just need one more piece to needle. Oh, and I need all these other stuff too. Damn. Wait, this is weird. I just got a complete tome while at the level 65 area. And it says I have to uh, take this to the study desk in the archaeology guild. And I can't destroy it without it being permanently lost. Alright, where is the study? Right here. Alright, what does this do? 10,000 XP? That's sick! Oh, hey, look. I just finally finished, um, I got the last piece of the Tetra Compass. I think I just need the materials now to finish it. Oh my god. So I just got Archie at about 650k archaeology XP. And this is just the most cutest thing ever. Check this out. Okay. Hey, Archie, who's a good boy? How dare you talk to me like that? You know who I am? I'm not a dog. Sorry. I was royalty. I was in the line of kings. I was to be chosen. Sorry, Archie. I didn't mean... My name is Archibald Percival Frederick Stein von Musel de Rollo the Third. You will show me proper respect or else you have your head, damn it. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, look at this. Mm. <laughs> this is so adorable. Man, Jackie's did nice work. And also, apparently, I just got Jack of Trades. Oh, I didn't even know this was coming. This is awesome. All right. It took such a long time, but... Finally, I am now 70 archaeology. Hell yeah!